ओके सो बिफोर वी स्टार्ट इफ यू आर न्यू ऑन माई चैनल और इफ यू डिड नॉट सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल जस्ट गो टू माई चैनल एंड क्लिक ऑन सब्सक्राइब मेक श्योर दैट क्लिक ऑन दिस बेल बटन एंड चेक मार्क दिस सेंड मी ऑल नोटिफिकेशन फॉर दिस चैनल एंड क्लिक ऑन से बाय डूइंग दिस यू विल गेट एवरी सिंगल अपडेट ऑफ माई न्यू वीडियोज ऑल्सो विजिट माई चैनल आई एम श्योर दैट यू विल फाइंड अ लॉट मोर कूल स्टफ ऑन माई चैनल this video we are going to create a 3d polygon shutter effect in photoshop cs6 extended it will be super fun so let's jump in photoshop Welcome back everyone. My name is Dinar Chaudhary from Tasty Tutorials and today we will create a 3D polygon shutter effect. It will be fun and um, I know you will enjoy that as you enjoyed uh, the previous video which was a uh, uh, 3D uh, dispersion effect. Uh, it is similar to that and it's pretty much uh, amazing and uh, yes uh, uh, what I can say that. Uh, so without wasting any kind of time uh let's just uh, move to our required example which we will use and uh, before we start our work i will show you some examples which i have done already using these uh actions so it's pretty much nice and perfect and uh, uh what else we should talk about is that yeah i i i remember that uh most of the people's are uh, the facing some problems uh, downloading uh, actions from onedrive uh, i would like to mention here that onedrive is pretty much slow in downloading but it's best for keeping your data safe so that's why i always use uh, uh, onedrive because uh, it's just perfect for me and i know it's take a little time to load all the files and don't worry about that there is no problem in any link because i always uh, double check before i post i always check that if my link is working or not and then after posting uh after posting the video and the my article on blog i always uh, check about 3 to 4 hours ago uh, after i i always check to recheck again to make sure that if it is working or not then then i uh, i i satisfied with my settings so that's why uh, i always mention that please wait a little bit because one drive takes a little time and maybe there is a pro problem on your end so make sure that wait wait a little bit because one drive take a little time so there is no problem again so let's get back to our tutorial and uh, let's just see what kind of effect we will get after uh, finishing our uh, work so first of all we will create selections around our character and uh, right after that when we will run our actions the final result will look like this okay it's a uh, pretty much simple and but it looks perfect i i love this effect because of these small particles and fade it out to the big particle and then use some blurred particle okay it's perfect and uh, you can check zoom in these are very high quality uh brushes used in this in these actions so in my in my opinion it's perfect so we will just close this one and we will move to this example uh creating selection around our character running our actions and results are uh splendid okay and uh there is no not enough or i can i can say that there is not a big de de detail included in there there are some blurred particles you can see that this is the uh color adjustments and uh, right after that this is the particles okay blurred particles then bigger particle then a uh, bigger particle medium particle sorry then a little medium particle mini particles and very small particles okay it's just simple work there is no need to be worried about that and i have already uh, there are some uh, pre made uh, colors including in that so we can use those colors uh, we will use them of course but before uh, we start let me just show you uh, what i have to what i want to show you so this example uh it's pretty much it's pretty much uh, simple and uh, creating selection out of a character 
and the uh, uh, running our actions and the final result will be look like this okay this is the final result and after uh, applying my pre-made actions included in that the result you can see that it looks perfect in matte color okay you can use it under the matte color or you can use it top front of the matte color or you can use it between these patterns okay it's your choice it's not a big deal so you can use these colors or not it's uh, all your choice so we'll close this one we'll move to the next next example creating selection uh, we can say that or we can say that giving direction to the actions and uh, the results will be look like this uh, perfect and amazing I love this effect and uh, the creator is very very creative I I love that person he did he did very well job okay so let's just uh, close this one and today we will use this image uh, oops sorry this effect uh, this image also so this is the uh, procedure we will create a selection or we can say that we will fill the area on which we want to apply the effect because on from this area the particles will be revealed okay this is the texture on it and uh, running and this is the result perfect and amazing so this is what we uh, we will get so let's just close this one and before we start I would like to make sure that uh, this is Photoshop CS6 extended let me show you there we go you can see that CS6 extended and it's not a regular version and you can see that there is 3d menu always available here so that's why uh, before uh, I would like to say you that when you install the Photoshop uh, regular version even uh, just try it in trial okay when you use 5 to 10 days trial version of uh, CS6 there will be 3d menu available after that you just crack it and then the 3d menu will be available on there and it will look like it's a uh, extended version so it's a small tip maybe it works on your PC or laptop but uh, it works on me so we will use this image today it's pretty much simple and uh, high definition and uh, use a high definition image make sure that and let's just start our work without wasting any further time uh, what we'll do is if you want to create a new document it's your choice because let me show you image size uh, image size is here 3000 pixels by 2308 pixels so uh, I think we should use this one because it's uh, pretty much already high definition so we'll uh, select our crop tool double check on this to unlock this layer uh, I would like to make space uh, to uh, to for the we can say the particles so I think this space is enough for us and uh, maybe increase a little bit yes that's nice now click on this check mark to accept those settings and you can see that the uh, this side is empty there is no big deal for me just get, uh, click this uh, rectangular market tool and simply just uh, drag and we will drag it take a little part of this side press ctrl j and press ctrl t and just stretch this out that's it this is done background is complete <laughs> this is the magic I, I always do in my images if something is not perfect for me I do this job okay and right after that we will just go to uh, layer new background from selected layer uh, okay these are some settings uh, which you have you which you need to do make sure that you have a background layer with lock on it and after that your image should be high definition and make sure that you have a high definition image above from 1500 pixel and at least 1000 pixels okay uh, and after that your resolution is uh, 300 pixel its minimum should be 72 pixels per inch and <coughs> sorry and after that uh, uh, what is uh, okay huh <laughs> sorry I used ha huh, word so um, what should we do I think we should use uh, mm, 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 mm. yes I forgot what menu we should use here I think um, uh, yes it's a image mode make sure that uh, your image mode is RGB color and it's 8 bit per channel uh, that's the thing uh, which should be important and that's it and now we will create a new layer name this layer as a uh, mask it should be in lowercase make sure that it should be in lowercase select your brush tool use a hard brush or soft brush but I would like to suggest you to use a hard brush okay not too much hard just a little bit maybe it should be 80% uh, much better and size doesn't matter uh, so fix this according to your need and just change the foreground color to any color I'm going to use a green color 
and just uh, we'll create selection or we will fill the area from the edges but this is too thick uh, what I will do is I will simply just size it down to about 60 and make sure that it's uh, perfect uh, yep it's uh, nice for me at this time and at this moment then I will go for this very good oops sorry size it down where you feel it's not perfect okay now just create selection on this side and now we will do a little selection on this side so basically I want to look uh, to make selection perfect Okay. We are doing this work. And that's it. Yep, I am fine with the selection process. And that's it. I think I am fine with the settings. Oh yes, one thing is left which is uh, these sites. Now, I have done my work. Uh, we have created selection or we can say that we, will, we have uh, selected the area on which we want to apply our effect. And now it's time to load our brushes and actions and whatever we have downloaded. Just go to edit, uh, preset, preset manager. From the preset manager make sure that you have a preset type to brushes click on load when you will uh, download these actions there will be a file which is brush in, in, inside that folder which you have downloaded just select your brush abr and click on load i have already loaded all the brushes are already so i don't need to do that again click on done now it's time to load our actions if you didn't see this uh, icon on the right side of your panel just go to windows and actions from the actions i have uh, opened this uh, let's just close everything from here and just click on this uh, icon and click on load actions from the load actions mm, when you will uh, download these actions there is a move back and uh, yeah there we have the 3d polygon shutter photoshop actions and the pre-made actions just click on uh, one uh, click on this 3d polygon shutter effect and click on load i have already loaded it now go to again this icon and click on load actions and from those actions just go back and again same thing select your pre-made CC this is a color effects actions so click on load and download both of these actions I have already load them so that's it now open this and set select the direction there are four directions right left down and top so for this image we will use a left one okay and uh, that's it just go to this layer panel icon and click on panel options from the panel options make sure that you have add copy to copied layers and groups is checked click on ok now we will start our work so just go to edit purge and all it will remove the photoshop history and your photoshop action file will work very fast now uh, just uh, select your direction and click on play button and we will wait for the process to complete its work Okay, so the process is complete. 
close the side panel and you will see the amazing results peaceful what what i should say it's a uh, perfect you can see the results and uh, i love this effect and pretty much perfect for me and uh, let's see what should uh, what we can change in that these are the uh, blood particles let's just move them a little forward so maybe it looks by nice here and uh, you can move it right here or not it's your choice these are the medium particles maybe we should copy them and then replace them but it looks so rushed so we will use as as them and uh, these are the blurred particles these are the mini particles you can make copies of it and move them outside of this to make it look like nice so these are some small settings and uh, this is the texture uh, on it maybe we can copy this but it not looks uh, so much good so we'll not copy this one and uh, what else yes i forgot to add our uh, colors so these are colors action movie dramatic instagram expo cc black and white old school so these are five uh, different actions you can uh, use so let's just run first one which is action movie run this and that's the effect this is the matte color you can see that let's just turn this off and we'll see the dramatic smooth cc and um, uh, yep that's it let's just move to the top and this is the uh, overall color let's just turn this off and we will move to the next example the instagram simple it will be a little dirt type action yes this is a matte color and uh, three uh, different actions there we have and these are X Pro CC so this is the mat also you can move it to the top and uh, it will apply it on each image so that's it and this is the black and white old school it will turn your image into a black white color so that's it this is the, what we have done in this video. I hope you like this video. If you download these actions, uh, if you want to download these actions, you can go to the link which is given in the description bar. You will redirect to my blog and then from blog, you will find a uh, link to the OneDrive and there will be all the actions and used resource files. You can free download them and uh, that's it. I hope you like this video. If this video helps you a lot or if you find this video helpful, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It's a big thing for me and thanks for all of you who subscribe my channel it's really a really really thankful i'm really thankful to you guys and uh, yep uh, we'll meet in our next video uh, never stop and keep learning